Hi, Cheyenne. I, I, I want to talk about your poster a little bit, but let me just see if I can get it centered here so we can see the whole thing while, while I talk. Okay, so, so here's your Feel the Burn poster, and there's a couple of things um, for the mock-up that I think that we need to um, take a look at and specifically address in terms of what's going to be expected out towards the end of the course and towards the end of, actually towards the end of your program, um, working towards your portfolio which is really the, what you, the way you should be thinking with, with every assignment that you get. Every one of your assignments is kind of geared towards this final presentation that, that, um, um, that the, 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 the department at RIMCAD here says, okay, this is what um, is going to be expected of you as a, as a graduating um, design student, and this is what's going to be expected to be seen in your portfolio. And one of the pieces that, that any design professional, hiring professional, or any um, portfolio reviewer is going to expect to see is a good, solid command of digital illustration. So the, 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 the tangible representative piece that you'll come out of this class with is this poster. What I'm seeing here, I think it's, it's really difficult for me to tell which direction you plan on taking this, because I know this is a mock-up, and there's some things that are... are gonna work and some things I really don't know and there's some things that are definitely not gonna work so let's talk about that okay and then we'll talk about your um, your approach nothing wrong with the approach here I mean I think this that this is um, it, it's a nice combination of different styles what I'm concerned about though is the part of the class that says vector illustration now what do we have here I really only am seeing a couple of vector pieces the sky is, is obviously bitmap, um, and it looks like the foreground is too, but it's really difficult to tell um, if that's a filter or how that was applied. The little mountains in the background definitely look like they've been drawn through in, in, in Illustrator, as does the little man and the type. But that's not enough. I mean, we really have to come out of this class with a good, solid command of, of illustration. I don't know necessarily where you plan on going with this this guy right here but that those are my concerns right now um in terms of you know the way i would be looking at this if i were reviewing a final portfolio and this were the representative piece for a vector illustration course so we need to really really take a different approach here i think or depending on what you have planned um uh, what I want you to do is I want you to do some visual research, and I'm going to do a video here because a lot of students did this kind of approach where they're kind of afraid to stay away from this digit, this whole digital illustration thing. And I, I think one of the reasons is because, you know, for a lot of you, this is your first class in, in Illustrator. And so what you guys are doing is what you're familiar with, and that's, you know, the bitmap background and things like that. What we need to do is we need to completely rearrange our workflow here and just think about working illustration only. Okay, so in other words, let's not use any kind of vector, no images at all. If that's an image or a filter, nothing at all like that. I mean, it's got to be hand done in Illustrator. As I said, I'd like you to do some visual research on um, you know, illustrated poster designs or, or, or posters done in, in Adobe Illustrator or something like that, just to get some ideas, get a feel for the water um, out there to see what other folks are doing, okay? I'm going to do a, a, a video, a welcome to week three video or what, uh, however this, yeah, welcome to week three video, and, and, and I'm going to describe this and I'm going to show some, some examples too because we are by far not the only one in the class that, that took this approach. So... Um, go ahead and take a look at that, and 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 I would really like to see your I hear at least hear your ideas, um, if not see another iteration. Um, since I'm asking you to change gears here, kind of at uh, the the beginning of the race, I'm, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a little extra time, but I do want to mention that I have to get my grades in soon, so um, I can drag it for a, a couple of days. But if you can at least get in contact with me and give me an idea of of you know your response to to um, um, my response to your work. So, you know, give it give it a, a, a second to think in so you can think about a new visual direction or, um, you know, new visual um, approach for the work conceptually or otherwise. All right. So um, thanks, Cheyenne. Good job and everything. But um, I, I think that we can definitely take this a different direction that might be more effective. So, again, get with me if you have any questions. And I'm looking forward to seeing or hearing from you. 
I'm seeing more work or hearing from you. Okay, thanks, Shannon.